Bolt action. Who doesn't love a bolt action? In this review, I'll be taking a look at Boker Plus's bolt action ballpoint pen, the KID 50 Cal. Bolt action pens are all the rage now in the everyday carry crowd, and that is no surprise because in most situations, you really can't pull out your knife to play with it at work. But a pen, sure, and you'll be using it all the time. Boker Plus is a well-known knife and tool maker from Zoligen, Germany, tracing their roots back to the 17th century. This particular pen is the design of knife maker Thomas Braunigel, who collaborated with Boker Plus in their first offering of a bolt action pen, the 45 cal CID bolt action pen. This pen doesn't bear any resemblance to a 50 cal shell, as you can see here as a bottle opener, but I'm going to call it for the sake of brevity in this video the 50 cal bolt action. This aluminum constructed pen has a J action style bolt action. The action was extremely stiff when I received the pen, but after using it for a number of weeks it's broken in and become softer. The spring mechanism is actually an external spring that attaches to the end of the refill very much like a conventional pen and so you are able to put a different spring in it if it's too heavy for you. But for me the factory spring has been working just fine. This is a relatively short pen with an overall length of about four and a third inches but it's about a half of an inch wide and comes in at about 1.1 ounces. In other words it's a fairly short and fat pen compared to this Sharpie, you can see that it's about the same width at the thickest point. Uh, that is to say, in the knurled grip area, it's just about as thick as a Sharpie, although not nearly as long. Compared to other popular everyday carry pens, I would say that the Boker Plus is uh, slightly fatter and definitely shorter. Not so short that it impedes normal writing, but definitely not the width of a typical pen. The adenizing is done in kind of an olive gunmetal gray. It's a darker adenization compared to other EDC items that I have. It's holding up decently well. You can see signs of wear, especially in the bolt action itself. Boker Plus has told other gearheads that they are willing to fix or repair this, but to be realistic, I think wear in this area is inevitable with this kind of coating. As for the tip of the bolt, which is threaded in, it is nicely finished, as you can see it has circular brushing and comes to a nice dull nub point which feels very good to me in the fingers. The clip is held in by hex bolts and has decently good retention but after about a week of wear I did have to take it off and bend it back into place. Those are uh, freestanding washers there and so when you are taking it apart you really have to make sure not to lose those little parts. Overall I'm pretty happy with how this clip is put together and also how it sits in the pocket. The two clips do make the rear of the pen butt out a little bit and the bolt does stick inward towards your pocket but I've found that neither of those things really are a problem practically with everyday carry. You'll note that the threaded head of the pen is actually slightly different in hue than the rest of the pen. That's kind of disappointing that that isn't perfect. There's very little tip play if uh, you're trying to move it around there in the frame. It's uh, pretty solid. Feel happy about that. Similarly, the bolt action is also good but not perfect compared to some of the uh, $100 tie bolt action pens, which I am also going to be doing a review of. It's not as good. But does it feel cheap? No, I would say this feels like a $40 pen for sure. Taking it apart is really a piece of cake. You've got a conventional um, Fisher space pen refill with a regular spring. That means that this is going to take any sort of uh, Parker pen refills. And I think that that's really why this pen has a broad appeal because it's very practical. You're going to put any number of cheap refills in there. Here I am writing in a moleskin. I would say that it sits naturally in the hand. Uh, I can use a standard writing uh, pen holding style. Um, 
it seems to write very evenly. Of course, that's going to be a function of your refill somewhat. I like the weight. I don't think I would want to write a, a novel with this pen, but for, again, most everyday carry tasks, I think the weight is not going to be a problem at all. It seems to write just fine on a variety of uh, thicknesses and colors of paper um, and seems to be, again, just a, a very straightforward, consistent choice for a pen that I would be happy to carry to work and use on an everyday basis. This short pen is marketed as a tactical pen, which I would say it's not ideal for, but if it was necessary and you had to go that route, you could probably inflict some blunt force trauma. What have I done? Overall, I'm pretty happy with this pen. It occupies a nice space in between kind of expensive and custom $100 bolt action pens, and yet it's a dedicated bolt action pen and a lot more fun to carry than your standard $10 clickies. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it, and please consider subscribing if you'd like more gear related videos. That's so good. Come on, baby, make your heart so.